Oh, because there's so much. Um, I think some of the places that we could start is just to start normalizing um, success, normalizing like black excellence and normalizing, you know, not supporting the negative imagery, things like black jokes, you know, like, uh, and I'm gonna touch on that again, like at some point from laughing at a negative black stereotype, like that at some point shouldn't be funny anymore, you know? Um, but what I was gonna start with is, um, you know, a lot of kids don't know what's possible because they rarely see what's possible. So allowing them to see other successful black men and how they're living and what type of jobs that they have and how they were able to get there and what type of homes that they have and not see it as, you know, a one-off thing, but have it be normal. Like in my crew of guy friends, having a home, a family, a good job, you know, uh, having some financial literacy, all of that is normal, you know? And I think those are some things that, you know, we can normalize. So when they pass us exam, an exam or if they get into college, you know, we could treat that as normal. That's what, that's something that's to be expected, you know? Um, and then on the flip side, not, uh, how, how should I put this? Like when we say things like that person's never been in jail, to me, I'm like, so, you know, why is that not a normal thing? Why is that treated as, you know, um, a success? And then why are we bigging up people that are in jail? Why are we bigging up people that took a bid for someone else? You know, um, they got on Charles and White for the whole snitching thing. Like, why is that not a normal thing to tell on people who are doing bad things or have committed murders and all that stuff? Um, there's a lot of, in my opinion, there's some negative imagery in our music that we just allow because, you know, we felt that pain too. Um, but I feel like at some point we got to think about the negative consequences that it's having on the youth that don't have anything else. And uh, for us to continually, I don't want to say promote it, but we continually allow it, you know, at some point we got to do something or say something or have it be okay to not listen to that um, and to not be a part of that crowd and, you know, have it be okay to, not fall to, um, you know, to the peer pressure game. I know it ain't easy, you know. Um, you know, I, I have friends and some of the things that I think in my mind is I went to the same high school as you. You know, I grew up in your neighborhood, you know, and I talk about the decisions. The reason you're here is because of the decisions that you made. Um, another thing that I was going to talk about is... Um, you know, promoting the positive imagery of Black people and success, you know, and that's something that often gets overlooked a lot, you know, um, and there's a lot of things that are occurring in the world um, when it comes to Black imagery that, that's in a positive light that we don't get to see, you know, at all. And, uh, you know, I always try to do what I can to, to bring that to light. So that's my little piece for the moment. No, mm -hmm. I appreciate it, T. Appreciate it. Uh, Johan, welcome to the panel, bro. Good to have you on board, bro, as well. Uh, question we're asking, it's a broad question, and everyone's answering it from whatever perspective they feel they can come from. Um, we'll narrow it a little bit later on. Um, but what is holding the black man back in 2023? What's holding the black man back in 2023? from your perspective. Yeah, Kojo, uh, thanks for having me and good evening, everyone. Um, since, it, since it's very uh, broad, I was just think about what are, what are the things that is expected from a man, you know, which is being able to protect, provide, and care for their family and the people around them. And we do that by advancing ourselves professionally uh, we do our, our by staying healthy, 
Um, so I think that um, what I think about what we are called to do and what can be holding us back or holding us back right now is first of all, we need more conversation center around, you know, mental health between all, us all. Like there is no reason why, you know, we still have like brothers out there that don't see a therapist, at least on a monthly basis. We go through so many things. Um, we have so many trauma that we don't necessarily process the right way. And I think that although uh, the stigma of black mental health has been changed a little bit lately, um, it hasn't been really something that is normalized. Um, I, just to you know, piggyback on what Tyrone said again, um, and and I would I would say also um, just making sure that we are putting our effort in the right places. Um, nowadays, we see um, on YouTube most men are spending time on a, the manosphere and all those things talking you know not necessarily having conversation that is pushing our image forward but it's more like an image of like just complaining and from where i come from the way the men in my family and my dad taught me is if a man has an issue with something you either fix it or you find a solution to fix it you don't sit here and complain so i think that what's holding us back is this also new day and age of Everybody has a microphone in their face. Um, sorry if I'm, you know, offending anyone here, but everybody has has the microphone in their face, and they don't necessarily are sharing the message that's bring people together, that's bring healthy leadership. But in some sense, it's just like a lot of like complaining about the same thing that we already know. Um, so I think that with in the way that we all communicate with one another, we need to change that rhetoric towards improving ourselves before we continue to complain um there as well and hopefully we can you know push forward love that johan thank you appreciate it. black you didn't get to answer the question you said so um what's holding the black man back in 2023 yeah um i would say resiliency um leadership understanding uh to name a few um uh, well, resiliency we we a lot of us get knocked down, right? But a lot of men don't know how to get themselves back up. You know, a lot of men will, will get knocked down and will stay down, you know, and that's unfortunate. And and I think it's it's something that women, our women need to see us do. We have that be have that ability to, you know, if we do get knocked out, get knocked down, we have that ability to get back up. Also, leadership. Um, we need to understand what being a leader is. Just because you're a man doesn't mean you're a leader, just because um you you say you're a leader doesn't mean you're a leader. You know, so I think understanding what leadership is, uh, seeking that information out if it's not available to you, um, having some type of a role model 